So, uh, this is the last month of the MLB season. And I'm going to say right now, because it is the last month, I am not jumping into any games. Our main objective today is to get through this season. Because the offseason is where things are going to go down. Again, we are a 100 loss team already with a month left to play. We are awful. We're dreadful. And, and we're kind of ashamed of it. This offseason is where we're going to change some of this stuff, okay? So, we're just going gonna to get around to sending some stuff. Um... We can bring some, we can call some people up. I'm going to let them auto call people up for, for the time being and see who they decide to bring up. I'm guessing it's going to be that third baseman that we're interested in. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm cool with it. We will play some games today because this is what I'm thinking. Joey Ortiz can play multiple positions. So I'm going to put Joey Ortiz as second and then get Tyler um, a locklier in the lineup, right? So, hey, we, we got some stuff. And look. Oh, we're still the worst team in the league. Okay, never mind. I saw like our contact go up. We were <laughs> we were 20, uh, we were 30th in contact all season long. And now we're 29th. That one edition. We're 29th. And then also on the pitching side, let me just make sure they didn't bring somebody up that we don't want to. Okay, everything else is cool. Um, yeah, let's go play some games, I guess. Let's go player lock this rook. Now, this is actually his MLB debut. We said that a few times in these videos. This is actually his MLB debut. And we're going against the Orioles who are sub 500. What happened to my, my my boys? If you've been around, you know, that was my team two years ago. And now they sub 500. I could not believe it. I could not believe it. We got John Means on the bump. 349 ERA. Man on first with zero outs. Again, zero warm up from us as well. But here we go. Tyler Locklear. Here we go. It's, whoa. Wow. That was embarrassing. Um, I'm going to have to edit that out of the video. That's how bad that was. Uh, for his first major league swing, that's what we had. Tyler Locklear. Okay. Good good eye, good eye, good eye. That's That was all nerves. You know, he ain't played. He ain't never seen a big league pitcher before. So that was all nerves. Here we go. We got, The nerves are gone. The nerves are gone. Ah, here we go. Man on first and second. That ain't it. That ain't it. That's so, that's so inside that... Uh, that's just really inside. There's no joke attached to that. There's really that was really just really inside. That is a double play ball again. We are late on 91. We are late on 91. I hate that I have I make everybody's MLB debut awful. Everybody starts off in a hole on this team. Every rookie that we've called up, we've been awful in their debut. Uh huh. Oh, we could just tag that runner, but let's routine routine. Oh, ducks on the pond. It's a zero zero game. It's still John Means who only stole 90. He's tired. His confidence is not amazing. This is the time to get that first major league hit. Not, not three double play balls. That's not a major league hit, but it might score a run. You might get your first RBI. It's a foul ball. It's a foul ball. Okay. All right. I'm just confused at why he's not throwing no gas. That'll score a run at least. At the bare minimum, we're getting our very first RBI. And it's going to be the RBI or the first run of the game. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, I'm saying that's a successful at bat, personally. Oh, we're losing now, though, and it's Felix, Felix Batista on the mound. We went from a pitcher that was only throwing 90 to a pitcher that could throw 101. Real quick. Real quick. That's uh, that's how fast it can happen. One, two count. Locklear. Good eye. Good eye. A leadoff walk will go a very long way in a one-run lead, in a one-run game. Here we go, Locklear. Ah, I'm late. Of course I'm late. It's 101. All right, well, we went hitless in his MLB debut. Who can you blame other than me? Um, Jackson Holiday went three for three. Remember they were trying to trade him earlier in the season? Because I definitely remember that. All right, his first game of his career, not um, too memorable other than him having the sole RBI in the game. That is how our team is, man. One run a game is basically what we plan. All right, Dean is on the mound. We actually scored a run in the first two innings or the first inning. So that's that's great. The boys put one up. We had to be one of the most bet on teams with the no run first inning stuff. Because we not, we not that type of team. We don't have that type of roster where we're out here scoring in the first very often. Um, also, that was 93 and I was very late. So what if I told you I struck out? Would you believe? It's 5-1. to one. Would you believe me if I told you I, strike, I struck out? I ain't got no reason to lie. 0 for 4 in his career so far. Now, if we don't if we don't get a base hit in this game, I'm not I'm not help I'm not doing anything else then, bro. Starting off this much in the hole sucks. There is no game three of of player lock if we can't get a hit on Dean Kramer. Oh my God, base hit! Oh my God, base hit! He did it! 
He did it. Get the ball. Get the ball. All right. At least we didn't completely. Oh, what the hell? He did one of these. First career made base hit, man. Wow. What a time. Hey, Akiba has really turned his season around, by the way, since we traded for him. I feel pretty good about what he could turn into. I don't know if he's progressing very well or anything, but co considering where he was when we traded for him, um, this is really good. We're running. We're running. He doesn't even got no crazy speed. But, hey, it's not a double play ball, and we score. Heads up base running. That's a double play ball, but if we, if we didn't try to steal, we wouldn't have scored that run. Tyler Locklear just steps ahead of everybody. Ed Kimball. I, I remember you, buddy. I remember you. It's 8-2. to two. You, got some, you got a little bit of gas in there. I, I know what you can do. You don't scare me with that pose, big fella. We don't, we're not scared of you. We saw you give up a lot of runs for the White Sox. We know you ain't like that no more. Look what I tell you. Oh, my God. Go ball. Go ball. First career home run. Go ball. Go ball. Warning track. Oh my god. That was such good contact, too. That was such good contact. Um, but hey, that was fun. Almost hitting a home run is so cool. <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of the season done, man. Oh my god. The only time I would say yes to jumping in is if it's one of the players we care about. But so far, it's not looking like that's happening a ton. Um, see, so yeah, no way. I, I could not care. Hey, we shut a team out in 2024. We. We did that? I guess we did. Um, I don't know how, how the postseason works in this game. I don't know if we can watch the postseason. 11-game hidden streak, that's not super relevant to me. Um, but I would love to kind of see what's going on across the association. Because so far in this series, we really have just been keeping up with the – oh, my God, can we sweep a team? We didn't sweep them. We've been really just keeping up with the White Sox. We don't know what's going on in the rest of the league. I couldn't tell you who's leading the league in home runs. I can tell you who missed the playoffs, who's going to make the playoffs. So, Costa Montgomery was on an 11-game hinge streak, and now he's got two home runs in the game. I'm just saying the dude is a stud. Um, and our triple-A our and double-A teams both missed. But we should be able to look at their stats, right? Yes, the stats still stay the same. Okay. So, I don't know Grant Taylor, but maybe we should know him. I mean, he didn't pitch a lot in AA, only 12 innings and both through two starts. And he looked pretty good in those two. Okay. Jacob Gonzalez is one of our top prospects, 21 years old, a big fielding guy. The hitting is still yet to come around, but he hit 207 and he got a lot better throughout the course of the season. Um, this guy's also one of our top prospects. He ended up having a 3 8 ERA this season in AA. Probably still some time away. Um, and then George Wilcock, um, 18 years old. He got significantly better throughout the course of the season. So that's fun. Somebody to look out for. It's only 18. He got years and years in the minors left. You know, so that's our double A team. Now to triple A, Drew Thorpe ended up with a 264 ERA. He's a 71 overall after jumping up five and hits per nine and fours and some other places. He had a really, really, really good season. And at 71 overall, low key, that's a, that's a rating that would have him uh, one of our in our rotation next season. Um, wow, no one got called up to the AAA and struggled heavily in his 15 innings, 8.8 .8 ERA. But even with that, he still got better in progression, so we're okay. Kai Bush ended up with a 4 to 8 on the season, and he got better across the board as well. Brian Ramos jumped up a ton. He hit 236 with 10 home runs. Um, Oscar Colas, you know, I don't really have a lot to say about Oscar Colas. He hit nine home runs and so on and so forth. He might even get moved this off. He's 25 years old. We got, uh, do we have a lot of outfielders that we like? Uh, but I just don't know. I think he's the odd man out. And with a potential, we, we probably can sell and get something pretty good back in the offseason. Um, Samuel Zavala dropped six in contact versus lefties. That's not good for our 19-year-old. He was really bad at the plate. Really bad to play. Corey Lee, who played a little bit up, who was actually not too bad as far as his averages go when he played in his 14 games up. But in the in the minors, he was awful at the plate. We're almost at that finish line, y'all. We are almost at that finish line. I cannot believe we're about to get through our very first season in like six, seven episodes. But it makes sense. We were bad, like really bad. And just like that, the season is over. With we finished the season with a 47 to 117 record. Unfortunately, that wasn't good enough to make the postseason. Who are you telling? Who are you telling? The regular season has come to an end. 
All right, so this is what I need to figure out. Let's take a look at awards and, and everything. The AL MVP was Air Jordan. He had 47 bombs this season. Not far behind him was Aaron Judge with 46 bombs and Garcia with 45 bombs. These dudes both hit in the 300s on top of that, so they were amazing. NL, it is Shohei. Did he play both sides this year? Um, He did. He pitched, had a 2 Two seven three ERA, and then also ended up hitting almost 50 home runs on the year. Just a superhero. Uh, Nolan Gorman is the, the runner-up. He had a phenomenal season. 294 on the year, 44 home run. Wow. And then Spencer Strider's there as well. He had a 3.55 ERA. He struck out how many? How many strikeouts are we talking? 270, around 270 strikeouts for Strider. Cool. And then we get to the Cy Young Award. Luis Castillo does it again? No, he didn't do it before. I feel like he was in a runner before, though. Uh, probably missed it. But there he is. He is our Cy Young. Pablo Lopez was the runner-up. And then Garrett Cole. And then out in the NL, it was Spencer Strider, Shohei, and then Dylan Cease. We see you, old friend. We see you doing your thing. The bad title, Eric Jordan. Ryan Jeffers, a catcher. Wow. Wow, he's 26, a catcher, and he just had such a crazy season. And then Cal Tucker's there too. And then we have Luis Arias, just the king of the contact, man. 344 this season um, and had just a phenomenal year. James Outman looks phenomenal. Okay, I keep saying phenomenal, but these, these that, that's what these players are. They are. They are phenomenal players. Ronald Acuna was third. Okay, cool. Um, reliever of the year, Chris Martin. He is 37. They actually offered me him in a trade earlier in the season. That's funny. But he is playing way down because he's 37. But he had the best year of his career, or one of the best years of his career. P. Fairbanks, uh, Jason Foley are there as well. And then Ryan Hens Helsley, Jose Alvarado, and then Paul Seawall. Rookie of the year goes to Evan Carter. Uh, he hit 302. Yeah, he's a wow, 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 wow. I did not know he was up to an 88. Then we got Cole Kiefer we saw in the very first episode. I think he hit a home run against us. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But um, somebody else did. Jackson Holiday was third. And then Jackson Morrell was first. He's up to an 83. Um, Yamamoto ended up having a really solid rookie season as well. And then Young Ho Lee also had a really good rookie season. Hank Aaron Award goes to Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani. And the Gold Glovers, there's no White Sock. Paul DeYoung, he won it. Okay, never mind. Paul DeYoung. Wow, I, I hope you could do this somewhere else next season. It definitely ain't gonna be here. Definitely ain't gonna be here. All right, so there's that. Um, I wanna take a look at league leaders. Or do we care about our team first? Okay, yeah. So our leader in, in home runs was Andrew Vaughn at 22. Then Akil Badu ended up hitting 12. Now again, when we traded for Akil, he was hitting like 181 on the season. He got up to 230, which we'll take. Overall, Colson Montgomery was a stud. He jumped up 13 on contact versus lefties, which is clutch. He's kind of got reverse splits as far as his contact power goes. He's better against lefties than against righties. His discipline is way up. His fielding's a lot better. And yeah, man, that was that's pretty solid. We'll take that from the young fella. Then we also got Ben Attendee, who had a really good season, a very underrated season for us. Uh, Luis Robert, uh, uh, Robert, obviously injured for a bunch of it. Dominic Fletcher ended up putting bats a ball a good amount. So we'll take that. Nicky Lopez ended on the IL, IL, but I'm not worried about Nicky because he probably is not on the team next season. Um, Andrew Vaughn, again, contact is down. He's just not turning into the player we wanted him to turn into, honestly. We do see our guy Edgar jump up a bunch across the board. Again, Akil Badu jumps up six in his power versus lefties, but it's still a 30-something. His clutch even goes up. That was his best attribute. Like Locklear ended his season hitting 143 in that one month, 28 at bats. It was not like he got a bunch of appearances. Hell, out of his 28 at bats, we played like seven of them. So that tells you everything. But he played well as far as going up and going down. And yeah, those are our position players. Our pitchers, Jordan Hicks looks better. You know, he ended up coming over and he was 18, 8 and 13 with a 5 ERA. Show me the pitchers that played well. How about that? Um, yeah, this guy pitched 26 innings and only had a 170 ERA. Barlow had a close to 3 ERA in his 86 innings. So there were a lot of stuff to be interested in. Um, our starting pitcher wasn't amazing. Jake had the no-hitter last episode. But other than that, everything was really bad. Everything was really bad. Even our ace up to a 77 for Garrett Crochet. 
Um, and I know in real life he's throwing a cutter now. I saw some comments saying we should add his cutter. I'm still iffy about it, we'll see. The Phillies have a series coming up. I don't know how to play this, honestly. Um, I've never done a postseason in game, so I'm gonna try my best to keep this pretty good. They lose game one, Zach Wheeler is the losing pitcher. Sony Gray pitches eight with seven strikeouts and, and did not give up a run. So there's the lead over there. Seattle wins their four five matchup in the wild card too. I think this is the way we gotta do it. And then we can slow it down once we get down to the last couple teams. It is a one one series now. Aaron Nola has a good time. And it's 2-0 Seattle is advancing to the ALDS to go against the Yankees. Minnesota is up 1-0 and Milwaukee's up 1-0 as well. And we do see Philly advance to the second round. We see Mil Milwaukee advance to the second round. And then we see Minnesota advance. So we got Seattle, New York, Minnesota, and Texas. And on the other side, we got the Phillies. We got the Dodgers, the Brewers, and then the Braves. All right. It is a 2-0 lead in every single series right now. Wow. Um, I, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure all of these go seven. I could be mistaken. I don't think they go three. They do go, wow, they go five. The NLDS is only out of five. I swear to you, I thought it was out of seven. I just, I don't know enough about baseball, as you can see. The Dodgers sweep the Phillies. And there's a possibility of some sweeps in the AL too. Minnesota sweeps Texas. So Minnesota goes from the wild card to the ALCS. Have not lost the game just yet. Uh, we got a 2-2 series, Milwaukee versus Atlanta. Let's see what that's about. Milwaukee versus Atlanta. That's not this day. So we'll sim through that. And the Yankees advance passing out, passing Seattle. So we have our ALCS. Y'all know letters be kicking my ass. We have the ALCS. And now we got a game five. To see who's going to advance um, in the other time. All right, so we're going to watch this. Um, let's see how this goes. I don't want to make any of the decisions. Oh my God, there's three runs put up by Atlanta in that second inning. That's a lot. Make it four runs. Oh my God, they're up 4 0. Atlanta, oh, Atlanta's advancing. Atlanta is advancer. Spencer Strider's on the mound. He is cooking. He's pitched 13 innings this postseason. He's given up. Look at that ERA. It's, oh, he gave up a run right there. But for the most part, he's been phenomenal. He's not pitching no shutout, but oh my God, they put up. Wait, what the hell? What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? I, I, M M Milwaukee's advancing. Why can't I see? I need to see the box score. I do not know what just happened. They put up a nine spot in the eighth. I don't know what happened. Um, Wow, it, th that's that's crazy. That is really, really crazy. Um, Aloy Jimenez, we traded you away, big fella. You had three RBIs in this game. Wow. All right. Well, we now have our ALCS and our NLCS. Was that my fault? Did I do that? Did I just sell the Braves out of a another um, appearance? I feel like that was my fault, but I don't know how it could have been my fault. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was. You let me know in the comment section if that was me. If it is, I'm sorry, Braves fans. I swear I did not mean to do that to you. Um, it is a 2-0 series lead for the Dodgers versus um, the Brewers. We have Minnesota up right now. And, okay, cool. We got Minnesota up right now. 2-0 oh, on both sides. Oh, man. Are they going to be stinkers? It's 3-0 Dodge. The Dodgers are just OP. We should have probably expected the Dodgers to take care of business because the goddamn Dodgers, they have Shohei Otani now. And it's a 2-2 series for New York and um, Minnesota. It's 3-2 now. Something tells me that was my fault. Um, Minnesota fights back to force a game seven. Now, how do I do this then? So... I don't want to manage it. I think that's what it was. I hit manage. Um, so that made me make the decision. And I think because I technically was in charge of the Braves that I was supposed to take Strider out. I think that might have been what happened. Oh, well. How else am I supposed to watch this game? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how else am I supposed to watch this game? I'm just going to two-run home run for Minnesota to start it off. It's 3-0 right now. Single. Strikeout, strikeout, ground out. Fly out. Can we get some runs on the board, New York? Uh-oh. Double play ball to get out the inning. The Yankees bats are going out sad right now. Yeah, boy. It might be wraps. It might be wraps. Oh, they got out of the inning. They got out of it. I mean, Chris Paddock is pitching a gym right now. He's pitching a gym, y'all. The Yankees are done. That's what it's looking like to me. They can't score. It's, it's wraps. It's wraps. And they got eliminated. In the World Series, we're going to be seeing the Dodgers and the Minnesota Twins. Are we serious? The Twins made it all the way to the World Series out of the wild card spot. 
Um, when is game one of the goddamn World Series? How, how much time do they need? Oh, and Minnesota takes game one in a 6-4 game where Shohei was on the bump and it did not matter. They had Joe Ryan taking care of business. Game two is a Dodgers win. All right. It is a 1-1 series lead. What did that one look like? What did that one look like? 5-0. Pitching was phenomenal in that one. Yamamoto versus Paddock. We just saw Paddock have a crazy game seven. What did he do in this one? He won. That's all that matters. Minnesota's up 2-1 in the goddamn World Series, y'all. Um, it's 2-2 now. The Dodgers do fight back. We got ourselves a good World Series. A 10 to 2, 10 to 12. Dustin May ends up with as the winner in that one. It's 3-2 Minnesota right now. Wow. Minnesota might do the goddamn thing. From the wild card to the World Series champs. It is definitely possible in this game right here. Here we go. This is a closeout game for Minnesota. Can they get it done? Minnesota sports fans have been through a lot. Uh-oh. Oh, Pablo. Pablo gave up two in the first inning. But the way the bats in Minnesota have been going. Uh-oh. Do they take the ball from Pablo? Bases loaded, zero outs. Sack fly scores one. Double play ball to get out the inning. Tyler Glass now is on the bump. When did Tyler Glass now get here? I don't know the answer to that. Does he play there in real life? Is he on that roster? Wow, if he is. All right, Minnesota. Oh, that's not Minnesota. Sorry. I thought they were on the board. They're not. All right, it is time for a, a, a new pitcher and another run scored. I'm trying to do what I can for y'all, Minnesota. I swear of it. Carlos Correa hits a solo shot to get the guys on the board. There y'all go. There y'all go. All right, so you can get this guy out of here. He pitched too long already. Single care. Uh-oh. Ducks on the pond one out. Byron Buxton, he strikes out. Jeffers, you were one of the MVP runner-ups. He grounds out. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we might be going to a game seven. It looks like we might be going to a game seven, y'all. I, I don't I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Just, just everybody else. Everybody else can serve your arms. We're going to a game seven. They got smoked in this one. Smoked. It is game seven. It is Shohei versus Paddock on the bump. This is the last game of the year. Everybody's going out swinging. Everybody's going out swinging. We are in Dodger Stadium for this one. We got Chris on the on the bump again, having such a phenomenal season. Uh, Pablo is a little bit tired, but hey, in relief, you might have to do what you got to do if you need him. You know what I'm saying? Last game of the goddamn year, no matter what the outcome. You got to go out strong. Uh-huh. Three up, three down. There's Jeffers getting on base, and it doesn't matter. Here we go. Keep it going. Both of these pitchers, Yamamoto was on the bump. He gives up a leadoff double to Waldner. And then they score one. It is 1-0 Minnesota. Paddock, keep pitching your game. Ducks on the pond, one out. Caught stealing. Two-run home run, Freddie Freeman. And then a single. All right. It's still possible. It's only a 2-1 two, two, lead. Two batters on, two outs, and a pop-up. Strikeout, line out. Max Muncy also strikes out. Lead off base hit. Fielder's choice, strikeout. This game is going ridiculous right now. It's going ridiculous. Uh oh, it is a 2 2 game. Yamamoto gives up a solo home run to Jeffers. Max Kepler on base. Another single. And another single. Willie Castro. He is hitting 274 in the postseason so far. They bring in Walker Bueller out the pen. And two-run single. Minnesota is up four to two. Oh, make this six to two. Walker Bueller. Oh, no, it's time. It's time. It's time. Bring him in. Where is he at? Bring him in. Pablo Lopez is time. Out of, out of the bullpen. This is the last game of the year. Get out the jam. Get out the jam. Yo, it might be happening for Minnesota sports fans, man. It might be happening for Minnesota sports fans. They are six outs away. Pablo, yeah, strike out, foul, fly out, pop out. Okay, Pablo, you got you got to bring in one of the best closers in basketball, <laughs> best closers in baseball. Strike out, single, double play ball, just like that. The Twins have won the goddamn World Series. Wow, that is that is something I did not see coming. And the World Series MVP is Trevor Lar Larnich. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But the MVP, 27-year-old left fielder, came out and showed out, and the Twins win the World Series. All right, let's sim to the offseason. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. I'm actually about to film right now, the offseason. Hopefully everything goes well. Leave a like, subscribe, shout out to the Twins. Um, we got some competition 
Cause cause I I I want to win a World Series too for the AL Central. Also also uh, Kevin Pillar P R Pilar uh, retired. Does that matter to us? Nah. <laughs>